What actually transpired during a recent interview The secret reasons why Wendy's renowned mother is confined to the hospital are revealed by Wendy's son. I discovered the disturbing information Wendy's staff doesn't want you to know from purported manipulation to rising tension. Is this a chain of tragic circumstances or karma in action? Sincerely I consider a period to be a burden. I'm eager for it to be over. Men don't terrify me. And today we'll discuss the most recent Wendy Williams saga development. An unexpected turn in Wendy's hospitalization story has recently been made public by those close to the issue. And lately, it came to light that Wendy's son Kevin Jr. had spilled the beans on his mother's condition revealing that she is still in the hospital and is in a terrible state. So let's explore the enigmatic circumstances that led to Wendy's protracted hospitalization. Is it possible that her team is driving her over her breaking point or are other darker forces at work? In case you missed it let me catch you up. Over a year ago Wendy's show was cancelled leaving her jobless. She had intended to start a podcast since then but there haven't been any current updates and there have been rumors that it has been cancelled. That's the name of my son. You also cannot take it away. Do not force me. Wendy's financial issues with Wells Fargo are making matters worse and they are now thinking about putting her under conservatorship. Although her life has been rather turbulent she insists that it is much better today and her team says she is prepared to return. Although she isn't exactly in high demand from talk shows and other outlets. Wendy has been looking at alternative ways to get money like speaking engagements. She played a big role as one of the keynote speakers at the Atlanta Women's Expo where she was recently set to appear. It would have been her first outing in public in weeks. She made headlines by proclaiming her wish to find love at the Noble Circle of Sisters in November 2022 which was the last time she spoke at a gathering. I can't wait to fall in love she said. Yes, I'm completely serious. It's not enough that I'm 58 years old and alone in my house. Wendy's participation at the Atlanta Women's Expo last weekend was eagerly anticipated, given the success of her prior speaking engagement. To everyone's surprise she suddenly withdrew from the event. This unexpected turn of events led to suspicions that something wasn't right. It's crucial to remember that Wendy was due $25,000 for her assignment. And let's face it she needs the money badly. She has been liquidating her assets including her personal property. Therefore $25,000 would have provided her with a big financial boost at this time. It was obvious that her cancellation must have had a good reason. Indeed it is there. Was. And I hate to disappoint my studio audience especially when they show up. According to Insider Reports Wendy had to cancel the performance because of a medical issue that developed just a few days before the occasion. It's crucial to note that Wendy's hospitalization was unrelated to her prior difficulties with substance misuse or any psychiatric concerns. However reports from The Sun suggest that Wendy was rushed to the hospital twice in the days before the engagement. Instead it was a medical condition. Even if this would be preferable to treatment Wendy's general well-being is nonetheless put in jeopardy. Wendy first sought medical attention around two weeks ago was briefly released over the weekend then readmitted. Although they are unaware of all the information regarding the nature of the incident her family is aware that she is in the hospital. She is still hospitalized as of right now and it's important to understand that this hospital is not a rehabilitation center. I definitely have a full life. Okay. I won't. Oh. God oh God. It appears that the specific hospital information is being withheld on purpose, which is not surprising given the need for as much discretion as possible in handling the matter. Wendy's health issues have gotten worse over the past couple of years, which emphasizes the need for tact. An insider claims that at one point they did not believe she would survive which highlights how bad the situation is. Oak or never. This explains why Wendy was forced to reschedule her speech because she had no other option. This is corroborated by a source connected to the Women's Expo. Additionally Wendy's team issued a statement saying that after careful thought they decided it would be best for Wendy to attend the Ultimate Women's Expo later. When those facts are verified we look forward to sharing them. This claim is intriguing since it implies that Wendy's crew may have known she wasn't in the right condition to perform the gig, but still went ahead and booked her. 
There have been rumors that Wendy's crew has been accused of using her for their own financial and personal advantage. They gain more money from Wendy's earnings so it is possible that they are pressuring her to return to work before she is ready despite knowing this. As rumors about Wendy's purported relapse spread in March 2023 following the purported termination of her podcast her publicist stepped forward to issue a firm statement on her behalf. The statement said, we are still working behind the scenes on a number of projects. She has a fresh lease on life he said and she is delighted and wants to celebrate. She was congratulating herself on the various projects that were in the works. However in the midst of this seeming optimism Wendy's brother Tommy showed up to express his worries regarding the treatment she was receiving from her team. He brazenly questioned their motivations while voicing his frustration saying, this is not a woman who is in the right frame of mind to get a show going. Why are you here at all? Do you see how she's suffering? Tommy's criticism went beyond Wendy's desire to start a podcast. He also targeted the reality TV production that appeared to have documented Wendy's tumultuous path. Why should these moments be preserved in time? Who would want to go through all of that again? Although Wendy and Tommy have had their share of arguments in the past it seems that many spectators agree with his most recent words. Questions are being raised regarding Wendy's team's genuine motives and there is a growing air of skepticism towards them. They appear to have pushed her to the point of exhaustion if not beyond. Fortunately Wendy seems to be making progress this time towards recovery. But there are still questions and unanswered concerns concerning her team's involvement. Even Wendy's son Kevin Jr. agrees thinking that they were a major factor in driving his mother past her breaking point. Wendy continues to face difficulties and her son Kevin is also dealing with difficulties of his own. When Wendy's brother Tommy stated that Kevin had been to New York to celebrate his mother's birthday with her, but had been turned away from her luxury apartment it was a painful incident. If only his mother had opened the door Kevin would have loved to have shared what could have been a meaningful and unforgettable moment with her. Kevin's problems were made worse by the fact that he was facing eviction from his opulent $2 million Miami apartment and was being sued for unpaid rent totaling $70,000. Unexpectedly Wendy was the one paying his rent. But she was unable to continue supporting the family financially due to alleged medical and legal issues. Preventing me from accessing my cash. This is incorrect. Kevin was even required to appear in court when he openly disclosed that all financial aid, including housing, had ended due to his mother's health concerns. He made it clear that he had temporarily postponed his studies in order to take care of Wendy during this trying time. Sources close to Kevin are now worried that Wendy's demanding work schedule and projects could increase her stress levels, in light of her recent hospitalization. Despite the fact that there are signs that her staff may be pressuring her to leave the hospital earlier for image-related reasons Kevin is unwavering in his support for keeping his mother there until she has fully recovered. Kevin only wants his mom to get the proper rest and recovery because reports indicate that physicians are still performing tests. As can be seen from the comments written by people there are differing views among the public on this issue. Unfortunately, it seems like no one is prioritizing her well-being when it comes to her health as one commenter laments. This new crew that is supporting her appears to be only concerned with her appearance on stage, despite her obviously poor health and financial gain. Another user noted that some people start to gloat over Wendy's sorrow. Wendy made a living by spreading